Hey, Phantomaniacs, it's Thursday, and you know what that means. It is time for another AEW Unrivaled Series 9 review. Today, we are looking at the tough, talking, fist swinging, realist of the real Eddie Kingston. I wanted to figure this guy so bad the first time I saw him. Now, I know he's been around for years and years and years, and I actually had a buddy of mine that we used to play uh, the wrestling video games with that was a big fan of Eddie Kingston, but he there were so many independent guys that he was into at the time that I just didn't check everybody out, and somehow Eddie Kingston just went under my radar until I discovered NWA Power a few years ago. And the, the first words out of his mouth, I was like, this guy is the best talker in the business. Period. Uh, I still feel that way. I still feel everything that comes out of his mouth is 100% believable. And then he gets in the ring and backs it up. I, Eddie, I love Eddie Kingston. He he's The fact that he's in the spot he's in now I think is great. It just shows you, you keep working. You never give up. You work and work and work. And uh, you know one day good things will happen. Got a great image on the box. On the back of the box. This is from All Out. August 5th, 2021. Looks like he's uh, fighting Miro there. And we need an update on Miro because that first Miro figure is whew, still a little rough. Uh, and the Eddie, speaking of a little rough, the first online images of Eddie uh, I was not happy with. Just didn't, proportionally didn't look great. The head didn't look great. But I know, as you guys should all know too, that those promotional images don't always accurately reflect the final product. Uh, you know, whether it's an early prototype or whether they had a photographer who was having an off day or didn't know how to pose or light the figure quite right or, you know, whatever the case may be, it does happen fairly frequently, really, that the final product ends up looking so much better than the initial images we got. And actually, speaking of initial images, uh, the Double or Nothing, what, Fan Fest? Oh, this is weird. AEW figures do not usually have these rubber bands like this. We'll just snip right through that. Uh, the Fan Fest, where I'm sure they're going to announce a bunch of new figures, products, whatever else is going on, possibly as I'm recording this on Saturday, the day before Double or Nothing. Uh, so we'll have even more figures to check out and enjoy. But right now we've got Eddie Kingston. So let's first of all, let's get this necklace off of him because it's re it's not. Well, let me get a nice little. There we go. I gotta say they didn't do a very good job on this. Uh, the rosary is longer. And this is just kind of a thick chunk of plastic. It doesn't, it doesn't look great. And his, his rosary is all wooden, but it's different colors of wood. It's not just all brown. So like these shouldn't be metallic or anything, but there should be some dark browns and some blacks in here. Uh, they just didn't, they didn't get this quite right. It's too snug on his neck. I would be interested in attempting to sort of make a more accurate one. So this is going in a bag. As much as I'd love for him, for the figure to have it on. Uh, as a matter of fact, speaking of going in a bag. So we've got two different portraits. This is our neutral default portrait, which is Bubba Dudley, I guess. And then this is our Eddie Kingston portrait. This is the one that looks right that's going to go on the figure on my shelf. Uh, the Bubba Dudley can just go somewhere else. So let's pop that much better head on. See, look at that. Now, I was concerned about a few aspects of the figure the first time I saw it. First of all, it's just not quite round enough. And, and look, that's no disrespect to Eddie. I mean, I'm sure the man knows what he looks like, but Eddie's got a gut. And this doesn't really capture that at all properly. 
but it looks better than I thought it looked because those initial pictures, honestly, it looked like this was just like this big ball and there was no, it just looked really weird in the initial pictures, but in hand, it looks more right. Uh, I would say his pants are a little more snug than they should be. Uh, but again, it looks better in person than it did in pictures. I've, I've got to say. Uh, so he's got his gang sign hands here. Which is great. Happy to have those unique hands. And then, of course, as AEW, as Jazzwares tends to do, you've got fists for punching, although they did not detail uh, the tape on his thumbs on those. They did on these open C grips, which I'm not quite sure what these are for. They're not going to hold anything. That's not even really a C grip. It's just an open hand. Uh, it might be kind of when he throws his uh, that elbow, that forearm. Like, I don't think he does it with a closed fist. So it could be that. I don't know. But anyway, you've got a variety of hands. So let's take a little closer look at the figure. Articulation-wise, you guys have seen these reviews. You know what kind of articulation we're dealing with here. Uh, I would love to get rid of these pens. This is something I haven't mentioned this week. I'd love to get rid of these big giant pens uh, that Jazzwares uses. But for some reason to my eye, they're just not horrible. I don't know if it's because the pens maybe aren't quite as deep as they are. I would love to get rid of them, but they don't bother me so much. Uh, so his pants, he's got a double knee joint that doesn't do a whole lot. That's very odd. So the, the sculpt here keeps the knee from, it's got the way these are sculpted here and here. It kind of keeps the knee from bending as much as you'd think it should. But, I mean, Eddie's not Spider-Man. He doesn't need a super deep squat. But that is odd that there's that much limit there. But at the same time, and this is my issue, you know, people, people comment on the videos all the time when I'm praising figures that don't have double joints. This is why I don't love double joints because my knee doesn't look like this. I don't have a big triangular chunk taken out of the back of my leg, do you? No. Uh, and if this was a single Super 7 style joint, we wouldn't have that that giant gap in the profile. But we would have a similar range of motion in the knee. So that, that's that's where I'm, I'm not always an advocate for uh, double jointedness. A swivel at the top of the boot, standard modern angle ankle. Let's take a look at those boots actually. Get the laces nice and sculpted in here. Just a good wrestling boot. Looks good. It's got the yellow belt. And then on the back, it's got that uh, unique design on the back of his singlet. Uh, they did a nice job with the fade. You can see the bottom of the hair is a little lighter. It, it maybe should be even lighter, but it looks good. It's fine. I'm good with it. I got the hairline nice. The hair itself looks good. They didn't quite capture his eyebrows because he's got the best eyebrows in the business. And they just kind of left... A, the, the paint's a little lighter than it should be on those eyebrows. But uh, still looks good. Still Eddie. So, oh, in the end, I'm happy with this figure. Could it be better? Absolutely. But am I beyond thrilled to have an Eddie Kingston figure to put on my shelf? You bet I am. As a matter of fact, I, he might even go on my sort of special, like, favorites shelf. He may not even go on the AEW shelf, at least not until he gets another figure. Uh, because this, I've, I've got one shelf that's just kind of like favorite characters. And Eddie might go on there because he's just that kind of guy. What a hard worker. Again, just the realest of the real. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, 
Remember to get your action figures from Caldor. Tell your friends about Needless Things. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.